the Auburn Tigers. The two state giants went at it tonight on the plains, and any time Alabama and Auburn get together, you can expect a great game. And tonight was no exception. Big, big win for Auburn as they blew open a tight game in the second half and waltzed away with a 91-80 win over the fifth-ranked Crimson Tide. In the first half, Auburn moved out to the early lead, hitting the first six points. Darrell Lockhart got it started for Auburn with this bucket from the key. Odell Mosteller played his usually great game. He had 23 on the night. He'll can two there from the corner. Terry Williams continued his hot shooting for Alabama in the first half. He nails one there from the key. Right there he goes. He's been phenomenal the past three games for Alabama. But the story of the game was Charles Barkley. Watch there the feed from Alvin Mumford, and Barkley slammed it over Bobby Lee Hurt. Charles led Auburn with 27, 23 of those coming in the second half as the Tigers battled from behind. Terry Williams again for Alabama, this time from the corner, 12 in the first half for Williams, but the Auburn defense held him scoreless in the second half. Bobby Lee hurt 10 on the night for the Tide. He'll score one there with a nice touch inside. Sonny Smith rallied his troops from a four-point halftime deficit. Mostella with the rebound and the missed shot here. He'll go the length of the court, take it all the way to the hoop, and watch the shot. Great shot by Odell Mostella. Bama Zenas Watley led all scores on the night. He pumped in 31. That's him hitting from the key. But Barkley led the Tigers, or the Barkley led Tigers, roared from behind, taking charge late in the game. They went on to whip Alabama 91 to 80. Auburn now 2 and 0. In basketball game. Heck of a basketball game last night, and big, big win for Auburn. What else can you say? Only once since 1975 has Auburn been able to beat Alabama in basketball. That is, of course, until last night. The upstart Tigers playing on the plains roared from behind in the second half to score a 90 to 81 upset win over the fifth ranked Crimson Tide in an important Southeastern Conference game. Credit a rejuvenated Charles Barkley with a spark to set the sleeping Tigers alive. The big soft who had been playing well below his all-star expectations erupted for 21 second half points that carried Auburn to the runaway win. Barkley played like a man possessed. Here on defense, he blocks a shot by Bama's Bobby Lee Hurt. That starts a fast break that ends up with Barkley getting the layup on the other end. He was devastating on defense. Here he cleans the board for one of his nine rebounds. And he was a devastating offensive weapon. Here after the outlet pass, he slams it home for two of his 27 points. Coach Sonny Smith explains why Barkley was so effective in the second half. Second half. We go to Charles, try to exclusively get Charles the ball to get something going down inside when they went with their three guards. They went with three guards outside, and we decided to pound it inside at that time. Yep, going into the game, you know, that I really did need to get off to a good start, so I did in the first half. And when I scored a couple of times in the second half, I felt like I could take it to the hole, either score or get fouled. You know, and Paul them did a great job of giving me the ball. There were other heroes for Auburn last night. Hot shooting Odell Mosteller poured in 23. That's him scooping the rebound. He'll go the length of the court and beat the tight defense for an easy layup. Darrell Lockhart was strong both inside and out. He chipped in 10-2 there on the short jumper in the lane. For Alabama, the story of the game was Ennis Watley. The exceptional guard almost single-handedly kept the tide in the game in the second half. Here he gets a rebound, goes the length of the floor, and pulls up from the key for two of his game-high 31 points. For Alabama, to say the least, it was a disappointing loss, but all is not lost. No, we've seen two good teams, and we're, you know, we're a good team. I don't know if we're a great team, but we're a good team, and, you know, it's, it's difficult on the road. I would say it's a little dry, dry spell for us, you know, but I think we're going to pull back together and, you know, keep working hard and playing together. Well, you know, we just got to go back and practice, you know, and, and suck it up. You know, uh, we've been ranked in the top uh, 20, so and teams have been coming out, so since we lost these two games, I think we're coming back down, you know, and now we got to just suck it up against a good team, you know. Both teams return to SEC action on Saturday. Auburn takes their 2-0 slate to Florida to meet the always tough Gators. Bama off to an 0-2 start must entertain third-ranked Kentucky Saturday night in Tuscaloosa.